Hey everyone, I hope everyone's having <clears throat> a great Thursday. I'm Kim with Kim's Wood Decor, and today we are doing, if you saw my live sale yesterday, hey Jamie, how are you? Today we are doing the Ladybug shelf sitter that I had yesterday on the um, my live sale on live sales and crafting down south. Um, there, this one's the middle size one. It is three and a half inches from the top of its little antler things to the bottom. I don't know what those are called. They're not antlers. Um, and then they have three different wings on them. There's the plain wings. There are the flower wings. And then there are the circle wings. So we're going to try to get them all done today so I can show you um, an example of all of them. Antennas. Yep, antennas. Okay, thank you. Hey, Joe, how are you? Yep, they're antennas. There are also three different um, tags for them. The first one says Little Ladybug. The second one says Ladybug Hugs. Hey, Sandy, how are you? And the third one says Simply Beautiful. So we're going to use each of those on these as well. Point this down for you guys. You don't need to see me. Hey, Stacy, how are you? You made it. You made it. So there's three pieces, quarter inch thick each, and then you would glue them together, and that's why they're called shelf sitters. They'll sit by themselves. So each one has the body piece of um, quarter of an inch, and then their little wings and stuff are made. I'm glad you're doing good. Their little wings and stuff are made of one eighth inch wood, the accessories. So the top one of each of them, I am going to do um, black. I'm going to make black bodies. Let me put these up here. And sometimes, even though you would think the, let me see if I can center y'all. Sometimes I'm going to make y'all dizzy. Sometimes, um, you would think they're all symmetrical, but they may not be. So with my wood, with the, um, one quarter inch wood, the front of my piece would have a pinkish tint and the back has a yellowish tint. That's how you can tell on my wood. I don't know about anybody else's because then if you would go try to match them up, it's not necessarily always symmetrical when you put the three pieces together. So I'm going to paint all the bodies black. And I'm just going to use makeup. I got to buy more makeup sponges. I keep forgetting every time I go to the store. I have to stop today. I have to go get more before my live uh, crafting down, live sales and crafting down south uh, later today. So I'm definitely going to need some more before that. So I'm going to have to leave when I'm done here. So we're going to do the black body and the antennas on them all, not antlers antennas and I will not paint the middle side the middle piece of the quarter inch there's no need to it um, it won't be seen and then I finish off my edges as well so if there's any bare spots I'll pick it up when I finish off my edges hey Sam how are ya thank you for joining I hope Marie's okay. I saw that she fell off her knee scooter thing. Prayers for her, and I'm hoping Janine feels better. And prayers for Liz. I guess she has a terrible migraine, and her tooth is hurting again. So hopefully, goodness gracious, everyone's okay. Prayers out there for everyone. But we're going to get the shelf sitters done um, from the ladybugs anyhow. And again, this is the medium size. I'll show you for those that came on after. I like this medium size. It's perfect for tiered trays. It fits right in there. Nice little accessory. Yeah, Janine's going to be on tonight. As far as I know, she's still going to be on tonight. But she wasn't on her live yesterday. If for some reason she's not, I'll let you know so you can go over. But as of right now, um, she is. But you never know. Things may change. Her voice is still, was still pretty cruddy today. And she's got that cough. She just can't get rid of that cough. 
I see a, a hair. I'm not picking up my boob or nothing, guys. There's a hair here. And it's driving me crazy. Got it. So all I see out of the corner of my eye is that hair sticking out. So prayers to everybody with this crazy weather, too. Hey, Cece, how are you? And I go to the dentist tomorrow, so fingers crossed everything goes okay. With one part of the top of my mouth, no dentist can get numb. Knock on wood, last time I had, um, he was pretty good about it. But hopefully, <sighs> makes me nervous. I think about it in my palm sweat, you know? But So there's one coat on the body. And I always get it on my nails. I got to cut my nails down. <clears throat> and then the wings I'm going to do. You couldn't find me because I'm in my wood group. Is that why? Later on at five, I'll be in um, Kim's Gifts and Decor. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. Sam told me how to um, tag everyone in with the at everyone. So I'm going to start doing that as well. So then the little... Wings, I'm going to do red. Black, I just use an apple barrel black. Um, the red, I like for um, Christmas or, th uh, not Thanksgiving, um, Fourth of July or any Valentine's Day. I like the Deco Art Americana, the true red. My wrist is still killing me. And you know what I should have on, right, guys? But you can't work in it. And I'm not getting paint all over it. Not happening. It's not happening. So hopefully everybody's staying safe with all this bad weather. I lost power for a little bit. A lot of power outages around me this morning. But my power's back, thank goodness, obviously. A lot of trees fell down on some houses and whatnot. So hopefully everybody stays safe, y'all. There's a goober on there. I hate those. I hate them. Ginger's all nice and tan from vacation. I'm a little red from being in Florida, but not too bad. Another one. Uh, that's the wood. That's the wood. Now, my eighth inch wood does not have that um, pinkish tinge to it. Just the quarter inch if you're looking for front and back. But you can usually tell because it picks up some marks from the honeycomb underneath. And a little bit of brown spots if you're trying to figure out the front and the back on the eighth of an inch. But on the quarter of an inch, if you're trying to keep it, if you know, together like the three pieces for the shelf sitter, the t pinkish tinge would be the front, unless you're doing it backwards. Um, like Sam did that shaker the one time, the heart shaker in the natural wood, and um, she left it with the yellowish color, and it turned out gorgeous. So, I mean, depending on what you want to do, but rule of thumb, one side has the pinkish, the other side has the yellowish. So you can kind of figure it out. Because I know it always. I get confused. What was the front? What was the back? Especially, you know, after it's painted one side of it. A lot of people are doing the honeybee theme. Shelby did a honey pot lead today. Um, Ginger did the bee theme. <clears throat> bee theme stuff. Cece did all her resin stuff. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And if you did not get her um, glue holder, get it. It's well worth it. She That thing's amazing. I love it. Thinking about getting another one. Jan Ann, she had a lot of good deals from Goodwill, I'll tell y'all. Man, my Goodwill, I don't, my Goodwill is very expensive. 
You have no idea what you're doing tonight, Sam. Are you being serious, really? I'm shocked. I have, I'm not sure what I'm doing at five. I, um, two different ideas in my head. I'm not sure which one I'm doing yet. But at least I have options, right? I was wondering if you were going to do the box. I was wondering if you're going to, Sam. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to get on and do the box. Well, I have the dentist appointment tomorrow. If um, all goes well, I'm going to do my vision of the box tomorrow. Your Goodwill's trashy dirty? Mm, I kind of agree with you. Mine is too. It really is. So, um, and they don't have a lot of good deals and they're very expensive, very expensive. Now I'm going to put all these little dots and flowers back in their little wings and I'm going to paint them black. You'll take a Benadryl just in case. <laughs> oh boy. Benadryl doesn't put you to sleep, Sam. Yeah, I never find good deals at, well, I can't say never. I'm always looking for the um, banana split bowls. The vintage ones when I go there, because that, that was what I like to make my banana splits in when I sell them. And I'm starting to run low on those. And if you go to like an antique mall, oh my God, they want like $6.99 a piece for them, something like that. They're crazy. They're literally crazy. No, you just take one. <laughs> okay, Sam. <laughs> Sam did, um, in the Sweet Success Studio, did anybody do any, um, tutorials or information? Oh, Patriotic Colors, Jamie. That sounds cool. I want to see that when you do it. I want to see that. They're getting cut today, and they'll be mailed either tomorrow or Saturday. And, um, your frames went out too, Sam, already. Today, they're get, they're going out, actually. They're all packaged up, postage, and they're going out. Um, in the Sweet Success Studio, did they do anything on um, pre-recorded videos? So I'm going to put a second coat on the body and the antennas. Oh, Jamie, that sounds really cool. You definitely have to share a picture with me. The box you got stays. Mm hmm. The spring um, subscription box. She did. I got. I was looking the other day and I couldn't find one. I'll have to search a little harder. I'm still trying to figure it out. I think I need talking. I don't think the reel will help me. I mean, look at the ad, everyone. I didn't put a space, nothing. Go in the album and I, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate it, Sam. Thank you. Uh, maybe I was in the videos. I don't, I don't know what I was in. I don't know what I was in. I was bouncing around all over the place trying to look for stuff, but I was looking for one on pre-recorded videos. Pre doing a pre-recorded live yourself. I want to look into doing some of those.
Yeah, Stacy. So when you do your box, we need to see it as well. Sam does a great job on them every month. And I appreciate her doing the box live as well. I'm going to do another coat on the body. Viva video for uploading and editing. Do you have to have a... Um, a membership for that, or is it free, Sam? Like, if you pay for Canva Pro, it's like twelve ninety nine a month. I didn't know <clears throat> if it was free or if you have to pay to use it. Because I think Vimeo or something like that is really expensive. Thirty six a year. That's not bad. That's really a good price. Is that what everyone uses? Is that what Tina and Erica use as well? I guess there's a lot of them out there. I didn't realize there were so many. Thank you very much. That way, if I'm gone, I have to go to New York or something like that. I can always do a pre-recorded live or a pre-recorded video and put it in in the spot and and whatnot. I have ideas. We all have ideas. I have to cut my nails down. I'm getting glue all over them. Not glue paint. <laughs> Oh, it's one of them days, y'all. One of them days already. And then a second coat on the little circles and flowers. These go super quick. And I don't finish my edges on my flowers or my circles because they're just going back in the wings there. And they're getting glued in, so there's really no need. And then on my tags, I'm going to do white. Can y'all see there? Yep. Yeah. And seeing as how I'm doing three of them, I'm going to put one on each of them. So I don't have to choose. My white I love is Deco Art Americana Snow Titanium White. It's a little bit thicker. You don't need so many coats. It covers really nice. So that's my go-to white. And these are etched, or engraved rather. So you will want to go over lightly so the words, you can still see the words. So don't have a lot of, you don't want a lot of paint on your sponge so that it doesn't go inside that black. You still want to see the black for those words. So less is more when you do that, and then you can do a couple coats.
And if you are not members of Sweet Success Studio, go check all that out, everyone. Um, it's a paid group. It's well worth it. I've only been in there since April 1st. But like on the Q&A yesterday, Erica and Sam were on. And there was a question about acetate. If you know, what else can you use if you can't get or you don't have or different options for acetate and whatnot. And they had a lot of really good answers, and they do a lot of great projects. Grab your nap, Sam. I'll see you later before Spectrum comes. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Thank you. So really, if you're not um, a member of Sweet Success Studio, think about it and check it out. They give you a lot of good information. They do a lot of great things, a lot of good designs. Um, it's well worth the $14.99 a month. So really, check it out. I got a little bit in that. Oh, of course, I love the group. Thank you for everything. You have a good nap, girl, and I will see you later at six. And I'll let you know about Janine, but as far as I know right now, she um, is still on. So I'm just going to dry these a little bit. I'm gonna take my chip brush and I'm gonna lightly um, distress my sign a little bit, these little tags a little bit, cause I don't want them real white white here. So I'm just gonna distress them with some of the black I have here. I'm not pulling in brown because I have the blacks, reds and whites going on here. So I don't really wanna pull, on the brown, pull in the brown. So I'm just gonna do it a little bit with the black here. It's just a little subtle, but see how it just gives you a little bit of that so it's not so white white and looks more like a sign. And I just take my chip brush and I just hold it, scrunch, scrunch it all together, put it in a little bit of my paint, get it off as much paint as I can off. And the nice thing about acrylic paint is if you have too much and put too much on there, if you've got a baby wipe, you can get it off real quick if there's too much. But get as much off as you can. And just kind of just dress it some. And I'm going to just do a tad more on that one. And then... I don't rinse these out. I have I get them and then I like that one will always you be used for black or I have a brown one, I have a gray one, I have a white one. So see how it just kind of made it look like a little bit of wood if you can see it on there. So yeah. Get it done like this. And this is bigger, but um, I do like to pull the tape off of the wood, not the wood off the tape. And then seeing as how I have 
I'm going to, using black, I'm going to do my edges in black. Because again, I don't want to pull that brown. And then this seals your edges from when it's being cut from the little bit of um, scoring or charring. And then if you have any of the paint that went over as well. And I know some people say, oh, you know, I don't have any scoring or whatever on my, when I cut it, but that's how a laser machine cuts. So, <clears throat> and then it makes it uniform as well. The, the, your edges are all uniform and colored and kind of matches your project and makes it look all nice and neat and finished off. And then I will hit it with a spray of matte Mod Podge. Not because um, I'm keeping it indoors, but not because I'm putting it outside, but because I am um, sealing it a little bit from the dust. I never used to, and somebody made that point to me, and they're right. It, it does make a difference. I forgot who that was that said it, but yeah, they're right. So that's done. I'm going to do my little, my wings. And then again, I really don't want the brown because the whole rest of my project is black. So if you can see here, see how it's brown? And I'll show you. Yes, my trick, yes. I always, thank you for pointing that out. I forgot about saying that. Um, I always go from the back because if you do slip and make a mark or go over, you will get it on the back part right there. And it won't, um, you won't mess up your, what you've done on the front and have to try to fix it. Thanks, Jamie. I forgot about saying that, but yeah, I always like going from the back. And then see the difference there? And then it just makes it black and it matches everything else for the ladybug project that I'm doing. And typically, uh, if I was gonna do um, a brown back or do with browns, I'll tie in the edge for the brown or the black with whichever colors and scheme I'm going with. And it just takes a few minutes. It really doesn't take long. And then I will show you the other two sizes as well. Like I said, I wanted to do this size. I think it's perfect for a tiered tray or a coffee bar or on my shelf back here, especially since I'm gonna be tying it in with um, other ladybug decor.
and then I will hit the edges again um, once for the center in the back once I glue them together but this main front part is for the most part done it's just where you're gluing it together and I'm not doing my circles and my flowers because they're going to get glued in so I'm not worried about that um now my backs of them I'm going to do the baby white method with black you know how we do it with the brown? Well, I want to keep the blacks, so I'm going to do it with the black. I just don't like keeping it. Um, you can keep the wood there if you wanted to. I just like putting a little bit of color on the front and the back. That way, um, if somebody's seeing it from a certain angle or whatever, it all kind of looks finished off. But again, everything is personal preference, y'all. So whatever is best for you. And then that's what you'll see like a woodish look on the backs. Like a, a wood stained black. And if you want it darker than that, you can go over it with a makeup sponge or go over it with... Um, a wipe another time or put a little more paint on there it, it can be a little bit heavier I think I'll make this one heavier see how that one's a little heavier that one Seeing as how I made those two a little darker, I am going to go a little darker on this one. Just a little to match it. And if you want, you can wear gloves doing that. It does get a little messy. Me, I wish I had stock in uh, baby wipes. Hey, Carly, how are you? I'm glad you're able to join. We're doing those ladybug shelf sitters that I had on my live yesterday. And I'm doing the middle size. All right. So this one goes right here. This one goes here. And then there's that one. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take my baby wipe with a little bit of white on it. And I'm just gonna go over a little bit of the edges to highlight some of the edges a little bit. And if you get too much while it's still wet, you can wipe it right off with the baby wipe. Me, this is easier for me. I, um, I have an issue with the brush. This is just so easy for me to do it this way. Oh yeah, the dogs know I'm live. You know what happens. It's like they know. Oh, mama's live. 
Got a bark. live. We must be noisy. Oh, these little spots, the spots in here, they're little flowers. But yeah, aren't they cute? It's hard to see. I'm doing the two of them. One are circles. And then the other one is, um, plain. And then the other one are flowers. She's back. That was a quick nap, Sam. Power nap. Girlfriend, I wish I could do that. I can't do that power nap like that. Mm -mm. Wish I could. Get a little bit more light. But you're right, they do look like um, flowers just about. And Jamie said earlier she's going to do hers in, um, she ordered them, and she's going to do them, uh, the insides, in patriotic colors. So I can't wait to see that. But they do almost look like stars. You're right. They do, they do. And there we go. So I've got whites on the outside of them. Then I want just a little bit on the outside of the body. One. Sam, were you even able to fall asleep, girl? And on the antennas. I'm not picking it up. There we go. Alrighty then. Now we can start gluing together. I need my alcohol. That's what I need. Oh. You really were able to fall asleep? I wish I could. I saw that. I'm so excited, Carly. I can't wait to see. So you just want to go here. I like to use the Loctite super glue. Um, the Gorilla super glue is great too. I know Sam has uh, one with a brush tip on it. I 
always dab it down. Then I line it up. And then I press it down. You're going to do great, Carly. I can't wait to see. So it stands and then see how it stands on its own then with the three it may it ends up making three quarters of an inch so yeah I'll do the rest of them real quick baby wipe hair do you know what you're gonna do yet Carly I always Change my mind 50 million times. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. We'll all be watching. You're going to do great. simple cupcake. Oh, so exciting. Can't wait to see. And then that one stands. And then we have our last one. Hey, Margarita, how are you? Thank you for joining. You got a notification? Woohoo! That's awesome. And then this one stands up three quarters of an inch. So glad you got the notification. Yay! Hey, Kim, welcome. Now, we got all three of these. We've got the plain one here. So we're going to put glue this one on. This one's a little trickier because you got to line it up to the top of the body here. It does not go to the bottom. See, it doesn't go completely to the bottom, so you're going to want to line it up to right to the top of the body on each side there. Well, you didn't miss me now. Yay, you got a notification. And there's never really missing anybody. You can always do it, catch it on the replay, but it's great to see it live and ask questions and hear everything going on. Now, if you wanted to, you could not put the dots in there if you did not want to. You could leave them out. And actually, I think I'm going to leave the dots out, but put the flowers in now that I painted them, but right, but that's okay. We're going to make them all different. And then this one's here. And 
<laughs> I'm definitely going to have to paint the back of the wings. <laughs> I was noticing that too. Yeah, especially seeing on the back of it. And I'm going to paint them red. I'm going to do it with um, a marker later. But, um, and the one you can see through a little bit on the hole, but I'll show you with this, with this one here. Now I'm going to glue these flowers back in. Thank you, Jamie, for letting me know that you could see the back of the flowers. It's one of the things I forget to check out as well. But then I would have turned it around and said, oh, look what I have to do now, right? Boy, time flies, doesn't it, guys? And I'm going to give this little flower a white center. You know what that was, right? The super glue. Three more. Mm -mm. I really have to cut my nails down. And then the third. And then I'm going to my Molotow one millimeter, one for all, that does not bleed. I'm gonna do the dots on here. Shake it and prime it. Or the other thing you can do is if you have a One of these doohickeys with the ends on it. You can do use one of these and put it in the white paint. Here, I'll do that. I'll show you. Put it in the white paint and do a white center. And all your little flowers. And that one's not center, so we're gonna wipe that baby right off. That's what I mean with the acrylic paint. You can wipe it right off if it's still wet, which is really nice. Now in the little bit bigger one, I'm gonna go with the size up. Him so far? Her? Him? Whichever. I'm going to glue these in here real quick. Where's my glue? Here it is. A 
baby wipe on it. And I was gonna leave it off, but I opted to put them in because the one wing, you can see a little bit of hole in the back of it. <clears throat> through, the, through the front of it too, from the side. So I didn't wanna see that. So I am putting all the holes back in. Come on, go in the garbage can. I didn't want to let go of my finger, y'all. You know, if you work with super glue, you're not going to have any um, fingerprints left because we're just going to get them all off. Time to get super glue on them. Now, I am going to splatter them. I want them splattered. Put these back, this. Get everything out of the way for the splattering. Look, y'all. paint everything's fixable right so we're gonna splatter now you can either there's a splattering tool you can buy off of Amazon or you can use a long tip paintbrush and hit it like this or you can use a paintbrush I'm gonna use a soft tip paintbrush and splatter. Dip it in a little bit of water and a little bit of white paint so it's a little bit thinner. And then you're going to use your thumb and you're going to go across like this just to give a little bit of splatter effect. This one's a little thick. We'll take this one off. in there. And then we have our tags. For my tags, I'm going to use C3 
Sam string. I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying not a word. Um, I'm going to use red and white saddle. I'm going to use where is this? Red, black with white dots, black with white dots. And then I wanna throw a little bit of white in there. So I have this little bit of white ribbon. So I'm gonna do the white, the black, and the red. This is a bigger red. <laughs> I know, that's gonna, it's gonna kill me here, Sam. <laughs> you and that jute doesn't, do not get along, girlfriend. Not at all. So, little ladybug we'll do first. I'm going to put the, the jute through here. Right through the hole. Tie it on the top. Then I'm going to put my bundle of stuff here and tie it in the center. Bunch it up some and make a knot. And you can use anything. You can use um, one eighth inch ribbon. You can use um, the baker's string, the baker's twine if you have um, black and white or another color, red and white if you want to use. I just spread them out a little bit and then I give a trim to my ends. You can make a bow or not a bow with that. And then I just kind of angle my edges. Where's my black? My black is hiding there. And I do make them different lengths. Oh, that's a little long for that one. We're gonna make them shorter, y'all. And then I'm going to glue little ladybug right on here. Right there. Okay, come on, dry, dry, dry. Then I will go do a few dots and dashes. Ooh, my stomach's growling, y'all. time.
my stomach's growling. It sounds like thunder. Sounds like thunder. There we go. There's a little guy with the plain wing, little ladybug. I am gonna put the tag on all of them. I know you probably wanna get going and see um, live sales and crafting down south. Here's the one with the, the dots, the circles, and then the ones with the flowers. And then they do all sit by themselves. And then the only thing I do have to do is I have to do red on the back of the wings, so don't forget to do that. I forgot before I put it on. So I'm gonna do the red. And then the other thing, the only other thing I have to do is put the tags on and then another stray here. Um, the rest, see the rest of my sides. See how the one layer is black? I'm gonna do the other two layers in the black. Let me show you the difference. And then there you go compared to that. See the difference on how much nicer it looks and finished off? I will post a picture of everything completely done. And I wanna thank everyone for joining me. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're not on the live sales and crafting down south or in the Kim's Wood decor group and you want these they'll be posted on my Etsy site oh yeah I was going to show you the different sizes this is the middle size um what I say three and a half inches I'll double check it again there and then done see that's how quick it was this middle one is thank you margarita this middle one up to the antlers is a little yeah about three and a half inches then there's a bigger one like this that you'd get three as well. This is four and a half inches. And then the baby one, which is smaller, is two and a half inches. So two and a half inches, three and a half inches, four and a half inches. I have to do the three and a half inch ones. And with all of them, you will get the three quarter inch pieces, the wings. You'll let me know if you want plain flower or circle and then all three tags you'll get so you can choose there's the little ladybug there's the simply beautiful and there's the ladybug hugs thanks stacy and then there we go and then they just sit by themselves there you go so I'll just finish up those two tags and um, finish off my edges, and then I'll post pictures of them all. But hopefully I'll see everyone at um, 5 o'clock on Kim's Gifts and Decor through Live Sales and Crafting Down South. Thank you, everyone. Y'all have a great day, and uh, I'll see you next Thursday at 1. But um, I am on my Kim's Wood Decor, if you don't know, Tuesdays at 1 o'clock as well. And we do the interchangeable um, signs on Tuesdays right now. So please join me then if you're available. Everyone have a great and safe weekend and prayers to everyone that needs them. Thank you. Bye, everyone.